How you doing? This is Yako here with a beautiful idea. And uh, from the holy city of, of Jerusalem, from Yushalayim, may everybody really enjoy these uh, beautiful ideas about to share. Um, hopefully it will uplift you. Um, this is again based on the teachings of the Kutei HaLachot, uh, which is Rabbi Natan of Breslov, based on his master, Rabbi Natan of Breslov. And if you want to know the Sefer I'm, I'm, I'm using, it's this Sefer. It's called Sefer Tehilim, with uh, Kutei HaLachot in it. With uh, Rabbi Natan, Rabbi Nassan of Breslov's Perush on it, Zatzal. May his memory, uh, may his um, uh, memory be a blessing. So I'm going to go over. Uh, wait. To... <laughs> I'm going to go over uh, just uh, a couple of beautiful ideas uh, based on two two different Tehilim. Uh, bear with me. Um, one is shorter. One is a little bit longer. First, want to go for the longer one. Um, not so long. It's really not so long. <laughs> Uh, but basically, we're going to talk about beautiful ideas, um, and one about not only the purpose of, of Jewish people, the Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael in general, the nation of Israel, um, but also you see really um, the potential of every person in this world, um, and what we're trying to do here. Everything is coming. Um, there's an aspect, there's a concept within medicine. It's, medicine is just a word, but in life, it's called homeostasis. Or in spiritual terms, we call it shalom. <laughs> or you can call it harmony, but the real, the real, ask, the real idea is shalom, and how to bring shalom down into the world, and the value of shalom, and um, what exactly uh, we're doing by um, by doing by bringing shalom. So, so the pasuk says in Tehillim. Let me see here, Tehillim twenty nine. The the <coughs> Tehillim twenty nine, right here. It says. Hashem Yivorech et Hashem et Shalom. Hashem, he's going to bless his nation with peace. Now, again, everything I'm saying here, there are concepts that, you can, that can be applied whether you're part of the nation of Israel or not. The whole idea is to understand that, um, that Hashem, uh, Hashem chose the people in this, in, on this world. And our job is we have to also want to be chosen in, the, in, the, in this life. There's no such thing as I'm chosen. Chosen means that you choose Hashem. Actually, that's the real chosen. Hashem chooses everyone, and I, the idea is, but does, but everyone, but may everyone, may not everyone may choose Him. So we have to, we have to decide to always make the conscious choice in the morning to wake up, and uh, choose, to choose Hashem. Doesn't matter where you come from. And from there, you can find out what you're supposed to be doing. Just first, crown Hashem, choose Hashem. Then we're gonna go here. Speak about Shalom right here. Ki Shalom hu kli machazik bracha Because Shalom is a very strong vessel for, for blessing. Ki ikar ha brachot Because the main blessings Hanim shachin mebchinat kodem abriya Because the main blessings are being drawn really from before creation. Everything you're saying, everything has a source in life. And so uh, when, when it's brought down from the source the source is coming from a higher, the highest place, going to a low place, okay, going to a lower place. Sorry, I should say, or going down uh, gradations, okay, until it hits finally this world as well, okay. So basically, all the brachot they're stemming from a very, very, very tremendously high place, and then they're coming into creation. Things are not just the idea, the aspect of. The fact that uh, things you, as are as you see right now, what you see right now is more like a. You know, I like, could actually compare it more to a computer, where the where the monitors and everything is hooked up to wires, um, and basically the power outage is the high, the power sorry the powder power outlet is the high. So basically, that's the source from where, where it's, everything's getting its strength and it's connected to the computer. Where it's basically the, the, the electricity, the energy is basically coming down, so to speak, and going into the computer, permitting the computer to, to work. So the, it looks like you're not on strings. We are on strings. We're on spiritual strings. We're, we're, we're receiving our energy from on high. So the, the energy that, we're, that this world is receiving, that all creation is receiving, is actually from this aspect of before creation, which is God. Basically, a concept of above time, where things are unified. Okay? So after creation, things again look like divisions, because all the brachot were are drawn, all the blessings are being drawn from before creation. Hisham because before creation, that's where everybody knows only God exists. 
That's how you, and that's the main. That's the main blessing. This so not just. It's not just what came before creation. It's the idea of what is that thing for you? What does that do for you? What's before creation? Only Hashem. There's only Hashem. There's nothing else. There's no confusions. So knowing that already is the bracha itself before creation. You're taking everything to the time before creation where everything new, its master is only Hashem. There's nothing else, guaranteed. No one, no one else could even say, in a word, say anything else. And it's impossible that they should be drawn to below. This bracha, this blessing should be drawn, drawn to below after creation. Because after creation occurs... So to speak, we should be blocked off. There should, in meaning, meaning, according to laws, that we should be blocked off from, from before creation. We should be blocked off. What, what is a spiritual? What, what does God have to do with what this world? People say God created the world and He left it to people. Two separate things. You know, have, this is the created world. We have no, we have no connection to any other world. No, no, it's not true. That's false. Okay. So how do we connect? Before creation, before, uh, like uh, way above this world to this world, the only way, the main way, is shalom, peace. That it's connect, it connects everything and it includes everything after creation, with before creation. Okay, it meaning it's 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 the awareness of what's happening before creation, and we include in after creation. We know God is one before creation. God is one after creation. Apply the same principles of creation, of what was occurring before creation, after creation, and you'll have shalom, you'll have peace. You'll know that everything is good. Even though things look like there are so many different things to worry about, be at peace with yourself. Recognizing even though there are crazy things that are happening, include now in your life, which well, you're after, you're after the create, we're post-creation of the world, so to speak. So we need to be able to connect to the higher realm, to, the, to that realm, to be at peace with what's happening here. And when we do that, we're connecting the before creation, which is God, to after creation, which is, it looks like there are so, so many powers, so many different things. And that we have, we have and through Shalom, we, we draw that energy properly. And so, and so we draw a blessing from the main source of blessing to include it in the creation, the entire creation. So to speak, by making, by doing this, by being at peace with ourself, in this world, drawing the blessing from above, knowing that God is one above and one below, meaning the same before creation and after creation, meaning everything is great. Because Hashem's the master. Hashem's guiding everything. Because the blessing, it is... It is to save, to be saved, and to submit, and to submit the curse that has a hold, which is the aspect of after creation. Meaning the fact that things look different now after creation to before creation. Okay, the fact that things actually look different is already is already uh, like a sheker, an aspect of falsehood, and and it's a uh, and it's a uh, it's a curse that has it's covered over our eyes that things look here like God is not in control, but He is. And that's why we need to. That's why we need to learn to be at peace. To recognize in every situation, God is here. He's in control. He's communicating to us, tell us to, telling us to relax. It's okay. It, n- people are not in control. And through the fact that you're including after creation in in the concept of before creation, before creation, as we said, that we're that we're including that everything is one. And everything is entirely good. That whatever it looks like is happening. People are like people think they can escape. Rabbi Nachman says, "Don't think that the um, that the, don't let the grave be a refuge for you. Don't think that the grave is a refuge. People think I can get away from the world, from life, if uh, if if I'm going to get be buried. They're going to run away from their feelings, and that's based on a heretical idea. Chas v'shalom, God forbid, that they think that their soul doesn't exist beyond this place or feel anything." In fact, the soul feels things even stronger after death. So we have to understand, um, really, that to the, what we're doing here, before creation, during creation, after creation, they're all included, they're all one thing, and they're entirely good. And, and not to reject, um, not to reject 
not to reject the importance of what happened, what's happening before creation, not to inject, not to reject the what's happening after creation or during creation. It's all one thing, and we need to be at peace with it. Learn to be at peace with the stages in life that we're going through in life, whether we're ten, we're twenty, we're forty, we're fifty, we're thirty, we're eighty, we're hundred. We're about to go. We're about to lose a level. Every, all the different stages, we have to learn to be b'shalom with pe- at peace with it, and then we can draw that energy, this beautiful energy from above. From above, from God, and and affect all creation, as Rabbi Natan writes here. Um, and so, by by understanding that everything is one and everything is entirely good, okay, that Hashem is ultimately good. Hashem is before creation, after creation, eh? and during creation. Every, being at peace with that, being at peace with whatever is happening in our life, and understanding. The mentality that before creation, where God has revealed He's the master, He's the same master at, during creation, after creation has happened, uh, uh, and by and by being at peace with that Hashem's in control. Therefore, I don't need to go nuts. I don't need to go crazy. I just need to put in my effort to pray, to learn, to be patient, to 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 do what I must when I feel Hashem wants me to do it. When I see the signs and do the best I can and pray to Him for help and do everything I can. Don't go crazy. Don't be a perfectionist. Be able to be, be able to fail, but not to give up. Okay? So it says here, and, and so we need to badlim, call a cloud, where able person who's able to do this, is able to find shalom, is able to, null, in their situation, in their life, is able to nullify all the curses at their source and draw from, and draw the source from the source of all of the blessings and all goodness to include, to be included in, in the entire creation. So the more peace that you bring down into yourself, the more peace, the more blessing you will bring into all of the creation, all of reality, for everyone, for everything, and also push away all the curses. This is what it means that Hashem will bless His nation with peace. That His nation is supposed to be a nation that is able to find peace within situations, to be able to bring God into the situation, to show the world how much God is with us. And he's within within our situation. Okay, and that's the that's uh, that's the, thank God. That's one of the lakute alachot that I wanted to go over. I'm gonna give you a double whammy since uh, you know why not? I saw this other beautiful one that I wanted to give over, and that's very short. Okay, here we go. That was to healing. That was the last the one of the last verses of uh, Psalm um, 29, and this is Psalm 30, uh, 30, 31. The last, last um, pasuk of last sentence of thirty one, where it says, uh, it says, "Chizguvia meitz levabchem kolam yachalim laHashem." They should take strength and be courageous in, in your hearts. All of those who who are who are longing and hoping for Hashem, like yearning and longing and hoping for God. What does it say here? Kolam yachalim daika, because it's saying all those specifically. It says, it's saying here, all those specifically who are waiting, who are awaiting, who are longing, who are yearning, who are not giving up on it. Even if a person didn't even merit to a single holy thing or, or any holy service even. Only that they're waiting, they're, they're yearning, they're pining, they're just want with all their being that just, or even just wanting a little bit he wants something and they're waiting to do a certain good deed even after 20 years for 20 50 30 80 years it doesn't matter a whole life okay, the fact that a person is wanting and yearning alone and they and they couldn't even fulfill anything holy so even so so even so a person even purse even so a person all they could do is long and yearn because they're not able to fulfill anything. Even so, they should be strong and they should take courage. They should not fall from anything in this world. No matter what it will be. No matter what it will happen. So you see here that how important it is that, uh, um, that we're talking about here. The last thing um, is, is that no matter what the situation is, you have to be willing to... Whatever you see is really good for yourself and for the world and for your family. Don't give up on it. Don't give up on it. Don't force other people, but pray on them, for that they should want the good for themselves also. Uh, you know, help people. Talk to people who who want to, who need help, 
give everybody the, 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 the ability and the option, the chance to be able to have also the good desires that you have and to be able to give over the information that you have because just longing alone to do the right thing is so tremendous. And then back to the first thing, make sure to bring shalom into your life, peace into your life, connecting before creation, which is God, after creation, which everything looks like it. You know, this, the CEO looks like he's God and my boss looks like she's God and everybody... Everybody's so confused, all the different things that look like God, and, and just clarify for yourself that make a peace for yourself that after creation, things don't look like God is in control all the time, but God is in control 100%. And when you, when you, when you bring that, that awareness from before creation, that w where He was master 100% after creation, which is, or, which is during, or during creation, which is right now, then you're able to, to bring peace, and that peace will bring blessing, bounty to yourself, to the whole world including all creation. And may you be blessed to see that in your life, in your family's life, your friends, and the whole world. Enjoy a beautiful week.